we were uh, sitting out to the front, you know, to fight, you know, and uh, when we got there, it was a lot of soldiers that uh, they were having jello fever, jello fever, and uh, so I had it too, jello fever, and uh, they were they were dying because they you know they didn't have nothing that would cure it. In 1943, 1944. So I had the jello fever too. So they put me in a hospital. And when they put me in a hospital, it was hundreds of hundreds of soldiers with jello fever. So I wasn't too bad. I had fever, but I was just starting when they put me in a hospital. I started looking, you know, to the hall and I see that person was one that is dead. Then the person was another one, dead, jello fever. They were dying one behind another soldier. And as they having that fever more and more and more and more until I didn't know who I was. Uh, they had to tie me by the bed because I was jumping up and down so much fever that I had. And I was about to die pretty close when the peninsula came in, then it happened in Zilla, and just got there on time and to save my life. And when they got there, they, put, they started putting us shot, you know, and they, they stopped, you know. They don't they didn't die no more, they cured Peninsula. And the Peninsula, uh, they, they discovered that, but they didn't have it. And they got there, in time because I was very sick already. And mm -hmm. they start putting shots for everybody. Next day we were talking. The fever was gone. Well that's good. <laughs> yeah. So that's good. So uh that hurts. You know, when you have jello fever like that, you know, those years, uh the jello fever, you you get well, yes. But you don't feel good after you have jello fever. Probably remnants of it stay in your body or something, yeah. maybe traces of it. And now, now I don't hear, I don't hear too much people that have jello fever now. I don't. Mm -hmm.